Spartan Sports, sponsored by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Final preseason game for the Oklahoma City Thunder tonight, hosting Milwaukee. Paul George appears ready to do this thing. PG-13 was filling it up tonight. Back-to-back -back three balls here. 19 first quarter points for George. Final seconds of the half now. Two rebounds on this possession. The putback just does beat the buzzer. George, 26 points in 19 minutes. Thunder wins in OT. 19 points for Hamadou Diallo, 119-115 the final. And welcome into sports, everybody. For the first time in nearly 20 years, someone other than Brent Venables or Mike Stoops will be calling plays for the OU defense. New coordinator Ruffin McNeil meeting with the media tonight in Norman. McNeil says he's going to call plays from the booth. New outside linebackers coach Bob Diaco will be on the sidelines. Ruffin has spent nearly 40 years in coaching, 10 as a defensive coordinator. He's been here before, back in 2007 at Texas Tech, promoted to D.C. at midseason. He's embracing the challenge. I call it a blessing. Uh, I'm grateful and honored to be here at OU first. Uh, but the interim doesn't bother me. I love challenges. I love opportunities even more than challenges. So after the first time, you want to know what it is. The second time, before the Alamo Bowl, you, you want to know what it is. But... Sometimes you get trained for situations like this. McNeil also saying tonight there's no magic wand to fix the Sooners tackling issues. Only hard work is going to do that. Tulsa football hosting number 23 South Florida Friday night. Head coach Phil Montgomery announcing today Collinsville native Seth Boomer will again get the start at quarterback. Boomer's poise in his debut against Houston. A big reason he's taken over as QB1. He doesn't ride the roller coaster. I mean, he's very competitive. He'll tell you straight up when he misses something, you know, and that's good to hear as a young guy. He, he's not going to play the high and low game. You know, he's going to stay steady and understand uh, every opportunity is a new opportunity for me to step on the field and go get something done. And I, and I think as you watched our team, you know, those offensive linemen and guys around him, you know, supported him extremely well and had a lot of confidence in him. TU looking for its first win over a top 25 team in eight years. Kickoff Friday at Chapman Stadium is 6 o'clock.